Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys about Dardwise Research Internship Program. So this program brings the opportunity for all the Indian students to perform a research internship in a publicly funded university or institution in Germany. So I'll be helping you guys on how to apply for this internship program. And at the end of the video, I'll give some tips related to it. So let's get started. So I've given the link of this uh, research internship in the description. You guys can check it out. Let's first start with the eligibility criteria the most important eligibility criteria is that the student who want to apply for this research internship they should make sure that their university is present in this list so uh, they have given a list of the universities whose students are eligible to apply for this program and if your university is not there in this list then unfortunately you cannot apply for this second is that the, in whichever program you are enrolled in it should majorly revolve around engineering mathematics or natural sciences if you are enrolled in a program which is different from this for example you're enrolled in a program that majors on economics or anything else which is not related to engineering mathematics or natural sciences then you cannot apply for this research internship third one is that uh, you can only apply for this internship if you are in a, if, if you are in your third year of a four year btech program so the, as they have mentioned that if you are in your fifth or sixth academic semester which is basically your third year of a four year bachelor's program or if you are in a fifth sixth seventh eighth which means you are in either your third or fourth sem if you are enrolled in a five year integrated program then only you can apply for this research internship also if you have already received this scholarship earlier then you are not eligible to apply for this program now let's check the duration of the funding. So the funding duration is for two to three months. If your internship is less than two months or more than three months, then you are not eligible to apply for this research internship program. So you have to make sure that the duration of the internship is between two to three months. And this internship uh, takes place between May and August. Now let's check uh, what are they providing you first one is the a monthly scholarship of 861 euros. So you can check it's around 25 euros per day. This is what they are providing to you. Next is they are also providing you with a travel subsidy of currently 1050 euros, which means you can use this money towards your travel expenses. Also, they are sponsoring your health, accidental and personal insurance. You'll get your results by the beginning of February. These are some of the very important points. So if you have applied for MyTax or OIST research internship program, then you must be knowing that uh, in these research internships, the organization themselves provide you with either a list of professors or a list of projects uh, to which you can directly apply to. You are not like you don't have to personally contact the professor to apply for the research internships or a project, right? But this Darby scholarship is a little bit different. They are not going to provide you with any uh, list of professors or list of projects. You have to contact the professors on your own so at the end of this video i have provided some tips on how you can pro uh, you can contact the professors or how you can back this internship so please uh, watch this video till the end to know more about it so this was the first thing second is uh, you have to make sure that whichever university that you are applying to that is a publicly funded university it must not be a private university or a company then uh, the student must be an in uh, must be of indian nationality so it is only open for those students whose nationality is indian so any other student is not eligible for this internship program also, if you don't have a passport right now, then it is completely fine. It, uh, you can apply for this internship, but you have to make sure that before 1st of December, you have your passport. So what you can do right now is you apply for this research internship and then you can apply for a passport and make sure just that before 1st of December, you get your passport. Next is uh, selected students are not allowed to draw any funding. So for example, if you are able to get this Darby scholarship, then you are not allowed to get funding from anywhere else. So anywhere else, uh, like by this, I mean any German scholarship awarding organization or from other German public authorities. So if you are getting the otherwise scholarship, then you are not allowed to get funding from any other place. Now let's talk about the application requirements. These are the requirements that they need from a student. The first one is that your CGPA, this is your uh, combined CGPA of the semester that you have completed. So it must be either 8.5 or above 8.5. And just make sure they are not talking about a particular semester. They are talking about the combined CGPA of all the semesters that you have completed. So after this, also you have to submit a transcript related to the semester. A transcript is basically a document which uh, consists of your subjects and credits, like what is the credit of, particular, of a particular subject, which grade you have scored, what is your uh, CGPA in each of these semesters and then you combine CGPA. That is a transcript. Next, uh, you must be registered um, re registered student of an uh, institution or uh, because you need to submit a no objection certificate for the entire duration of the internship. So a no objection certificate is basically a certificate that your university or institution will fill stating that they don't have any problem with you doing this research internship. So the format of the certificate is provided by that only. So you can check the format and um, 
make sure that your uh, home institution signs it and then you have to submit it too next is you have to submit an approval form so this is mandatory like all of these things are mandatory so this form will be filled by the german host so whichever faculty professor or guide that you have contacted the person who is willing to supervise you for the research project that person has to fill this approval form and they have to clearly mention the starting date and the ending date of the internship okay yeah so you also have to submit a cv which means a curriculum vitae and a short research proposal uh, along with all the other documentations next uh, if you do not know german language then it is completely fine it is not mandatory but it is just recommended that if you get selected for this research internship program just learn few words of german so that you are able to converse with the local people there uh, comfortably okay next is uh, your english must be really good because you'll be talking in that language only with your professors and uh, other people there now let's talk about the application procedure it's this is really important thing the application deadline is 16 october so you have less than one month to apply for this research internship program so just make sure that you submit all these things before 16 of october okay now let's talk about the documents that you have to submit so you have to submit an online application form and along with that you also have to mail few things so first first we'll talk about the online application form so you'll submit your online application form you have to submit a full curriculum vitae you can check what a curriculum vitae is next is letter of motivation up to three pages then then you have no objection certificate you can download it from here and then um, fill it and get it stamped by your home institution you have the approval form that has to be filled by the german supervisor then you have to submit the final degree certificate indicating final grades so here they are talking about the transcript only you have to submit a transcript which as i told earlier includes all the subject the credits the grades that you have scored in each of the subjects and all these academic details next we have a letter of invitation from the host university so whichever universities professors you have contacted that professor will provide you with a letter of invitation uh, which will be under the name of the host university next you have to submit a internship plan so this will be completed by the supervisor in germany right then we have declaration of enrollment this will also be done by the home university then we have application for internship for further education purpose all these documents they have provided you with the link that you can download the documents and also read about these documents in detail as to what you have to make sure uh, to include in these documents right then uh, these this was the details related to the online application then we have to talk about the details that you have to submit via post so after submitting your online document they'll provide you with a pdf you have to download the pdf it will include all of your details then uh, after downloading it you will get it printed and uh, along with a letter of reference you have to post it to the dard office new delhi so i'll tell you what a letter of reference is so it, this will be given by an indian university uh, teacher that teacher can be your uh, can be a teacher who has taught you a subject or a teacher with whom you have done a research project or anything like that basically a person will validate your uh, qualifications whether it your whether it is your academic qualifications or your technical qualifications etc yeah so you have to mail all, both of these documents to the dard office delhi they have given you the address too so you can mail it here make sure to uh, mail all these details before the deadline right so if you have any doubts related to the form or anything else you can contact these people they have given you the details and here is the link where you have to apply for this research internship program you just have to go to the fourth tab which is the submitting an application then you will scroll down to the application portal and here you find the uh, portal where you have to sign in fill all your details submit your uh, letter of reference your research proposal etc let us now discuss some of the tips related to finding a professor who will guide or supervise you for your research project the first step is choosing a field of interest. So this will automatically narrow down the list of professors to those who are working in your field or are working in the field in which you are interested. Second is choosing colleges. So this is another step to narrow down your choices. What you can do is you can choose some of the German universities on the basis of either ranking, location, or the amount of people that have graduated from that college. Though this graduation uh, percentage or rate is not necessary for your research internship. This is one of the way by which you can simply filter. You can choose any other choice or any other filter that you want. These are some of them which are suggested by me. Next, you can filter the choices using the department. So after you have uh, chosen some of like five or six colleges, you can search and see which are the departments that the college is more concentrated on or the department in which they focus more on for example you are interested in machine learning so you can see whether a particular college has any lab or not on uh, related to machine learning or deep learning if they don't have any lab or department or any professor who is uh, specifically working on this field then you can uh, remove that particular college or the uh, professors of that college from your list 
Now, next step is reading the profile of the professors. So now you should start checking out their profiles by reading the summary of their research papers on the field they are interested in, where they have published the research papers or which field uh, are they interested in or are they working on. Using this, you'll be able to narrow down your choices more and we'll get around some five to six professors. And then you can read about them in detail. Uh, whatever research paper they are reading, you should read about those paper, papers in detail because you will mention those in your email. So after choosing like six or seven professors or even five to six professors, you should mail all of them in one go. So, but you should make sure that for each of the professors, you personalize your email. In that email, you should mention your achievements, like some of the biggest achievements that you have. It can be anything such as winning a hackathon or a coding competition, building a good project or getting good academic results. Apart from this, you will also mention why you are interested in working with that particular professor. What about their work is something that you can align with? Uh, what are the research papers that you have studied? If you will mention those research papers and what you liked about those research papers, then the professors might get really important impressed because you are showing your interest in the professor's work right so by this uh, by these techniques you can try to impress the professor after this you should wait for around three four days but even if then you don't get a reply whether it's a negative or a positive reply you can mail the professor again but still if you don't get a reply even after the second time you should try to try and move on to some other professors so you can um, divide all the professors in some batches like in for each of the batch you can have five to six professors and if so some of them don't reply then you can mail the other professors so yeah these were some of the steps and you would have understood by now this, these uh, steps are really time consuming so it's high time that you start uh, the process of emailing the professors and reading about them so that you don't miss out on the deadline so yeah that's all for the video today if you like my video then press the like button subscribe to my channel and share it among your friends and family members also if you need some personalized sessions or you want to discuss something related to your career you can check the link below of topmate.io and can register for a session with me i'll see you in the next video till then bye